today on Girl Chat. Should you let your mom follow you on Instagram? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Plus, can't fix my face. How to get the three minute face. Slay, girl, slay. And take notes. Absolutely. Adrian is dishing out advice. Then we play the good, the bag, and the whoopsie. The real starts now. This is the Ladies look great as normal. You know, let's get right into some girl chat, all right? All right, all right. Nowadays, everybody's on social media, even your parents. Mm -hmm. But does the fact that they gave birth to you mean that they're (laughs) entitled to follow you? Uh Uh-oh. Yeah, according to odyssey.com, the answer is no. What? Yeah, that's what they saying, odyssey.com is saying this. The (laughs) website makes the case that you should not let your parents follow you on your social networks because they'll eventually, they're gonna embarrass you and stalk your every move. That's so true. Isn't that their job as a parent? Well, are you here for letting your parents follow you or not? Yes, I I absolutely am here for it. My mom is at New Eureka Mama, thank you very much. And I love that she is um, like tech savvy and she can post pictures and she can like pictures and she comes to my defense for the haters. Oh, I love that. So I appreciate that there's nothing like a mom's love. But what I'm most grateful for is I think you only have this feeling if you ain't cool with your mama like that. Uh That's number one and number two, I think I was raised in a household where my mom said the most important thing was for me to be who I am 100% at all times. Right. And that she never wanted to feel like she didn't know who her daughter was. Like, there's a difference of, obviously, you should be respectful, but my mom knows, like, what I'm capable of and what I'm not. Like, even when I was a teenager, she was like, I know my kids. Like, if somebody came and said, Adrian, you know, (laughs) stole a hot... (laughs) <laughs> oil treatment, which I did at some point in life. Yes, I'm not, not proud of it, but I did do that. She was like, sounds like my daughter. Versus, I know a lot of teenagers' parents don't know who their kids yeah. are. And mm. even when I was growing up, I'd be like, you don't, like, their parents knew nothing about them. Like, they would never even fathom. My child uh. curses? <gasps> what? My child would exactly. never. And I'm like, Ooh, lady, I'm, you don't know who your kid is. I'm 38 years old. Mama I, mine knows exactly who her daughter up. is. I keep trying to block her, but she knows my password, <laughs> so she unblocks herself. Yeah, but what you is she? You blocked your mom, yes. Teeny? I, there's three people. My mom had three kids. Dennis and Daniel blocked my mom successfully. <gasps> oh, yeah. I tried to block my mom, but she knew the password, so she unblocked right away. Wait, but seriously, Jeannie, no. <laughs> Everywhere funny. with your mom. I You're do. obsessed it's with so your mom. Offended. You share so much with her. Yes. Why would you want to block her? Because my mom is unafraid of what to say to people. She just says what but she But I thinks. love that about Mama Mai. Exactly. Look at me. Then let her follow in. She, she does. She speaks for me. I follow her. She does. I love her Instagram. Yes. Okay, I love her Instagram too, but she... First of all, I tell Mama Mai, don't answer all those people in the DMs. There's crazy <laughs> people up in there. She answers everybody. She's friendly. Yeah. She's giving my phone number out to people <gasps> on the DMs. Oh, no. Oh, my oh, no. Oh, yes. That is going too no. far. It's too crazy. So, Mama yeah. Mai, like, I think, I think if your mom, yes, if you have a good relationship, yeah, my mom's that follow. cool. Like, but if your mom wants to answer for you, if you're single and your mom is trying to out, be out there hooking you up with different people, put a block on it. Yeah, it's that's, not a necessary that's... Well, thing. I, well no. I wanna speak up. Because no. I'm, I'm gonna be interested. Because what? I'm talking about the underage kids. I ain't okay. talking about you old heifers, all right? <laughs> The underage kids, because I <laughs> bought my niece, Naomi, a phone. And yes. I feel like since I bought her the phone, I should be allowed to be on her social media. I 100%. bought the phone, I paid a bill. I yeah. want to see who you Absolutely. talking to. I would, 
If Aiden and Araya were at the age right now where, you know, they can have Instagram or Twitter, I would want to follow them. Yes. Right. I would be interested. You know what, though? I want my mom to follow me. I mm -hmm. even asked her, I said, Mom, do you have a Facebook account? She was like, no. I said, well, Mom, do you have an Instagram account? She's like, no. But you know what? I think she secretly follows Ooh. her kids. You think oh, she yeah. has a yes. fake account? I, I do. I do, because she'll say certain things, and I'm like... How did you know that? Uh -huh. I posted it on my Instagram, Mom, so I know you either have Google alerts or you're stalking. Oh. Yeah, see? But, but I think yes. that's okay. Okay, like, obviously, I have teenage lit kids. That's what we call yes. them. And I, I, I follow them. They follow me. I love it. Uh, yeah, but what do you Their do? dad follows them. They follow their dad. And you guys, have you heard of Finstas? What's what? that? I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying this, because I don't know if this is like a teenage code thing that I'm breaking. Uh -huh. Okay, so teenagers have Instagrams, and then they have Finstagrams, which what? are their fake Instagrams. Oh. So they have main pages, and then they have secondary pages that they write like the goofy fun stuff, and they keep them private. But see, that's why they keep as... It private from the moms? No, 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 I follow it. Okay. Just private from okay. other people that don't know them. Yeah. I, I do think, but okay, where do you draw the line as a parent? Like, if you see, you know, on your your child's, you know, them. Instagram account yeah. or something that's inappropriate. Do you talk to them? I mean, because, yeah, or do you embarrass how, them? How, to me, it, it depends on how old they are. Okay. I mean, if it's a teenager. If it's a teenager and I, and I see that Aiden is doing something or Araya's doing something, I'm not going to say it on their Instagram page. Exactly. Right. Okay. I'll, I'll tell them face to face. Like, well, what are you see, doing? Explain this. Then I'm a hypocrite because if I was a parent and I saw some indecent behavior on my kid's Instagram, I would absolutely let the world and your friends know that I don't approve of that. <laughs> see, you that are on the mic so 2.0. That's a double standard, I, would, that's a double standard. Yeah. I can't. That's why you're not a parent. Yeah, see, see, <laughs> that is true. But kids are tricky nowadays. I know we'd like to think all of our kids are, like, innocent and great and everything, but kids have another side to their life. Yeah. You gotta that's keep your I'm name saying. on the streets. That's I know. Well, I think yeah. you no, should I just. Agree with that. I think you should just make a fake account, you know, and not reveal yourself as like a parent. Mom, and like that way you can kind of check on them because it, to me, it's no different than if you check their room. You know what I mean? Ah, yes. It's okay. like if it's you, under you, your house, you pay the rent. That's, that's what I'm room. saying. So yes. if you buy in that phone, and you should be able to look and see, but maybe not as yourself, you know, ah. you know, somebody else. Just a suggestion. Okay. I hear that. Well, oh speaking God. of requests, some ladies have been asking if it's okay to refer to their man as their husband, even though they're not married. In fact, a user on WeddingBee.com asked about this a few, uh, after she saw a friend call her boyfriend of just a few months her hubby. The friend defended using the term, explaining that they live together and he took care of her kids uh -oh. within a few months, like we just said. Uh, so they were as good as married and didn't need a piece of paper to prove it. Ooh. So, ladies, do you find it annoying when people do this? Ooh. I want to hear from the married women. Yeah, which, why? I, I gonna... just think it's, for me, I think it's corny. I wouldn't do it. I just think it's... Why? Why is it corny? I just think it's corny because it's like, that ain't your... That's not your husband. Yeah. But I will say this. And I feel that if you don't feel you need the paper, then why do you need the title? That is true. Let him know! Yeah. If you that don't need the true. paper, just be like, that's my man. He's I... a great... And that doesn't take I... away from his commitment to you. That doesn't take away from him being a great father. That's great. You'd be like, that's a man and he's a great man. You but could husband call like, is just like, yeah. then it's, that's not your husband. But that's why there are ways to call them something with a word in front of it. Like, I think most women have a work husband, right? Somebody who's close to them in work, and they're, they do everything, maybe share an office, huh? and you call them, what? like, a work husband. No. People have that. I, I've really? heard of that. I, think yeah. I have yeah. never heard of that. Yes. Oh, you oh. have that? Oh. Yes. A yes. work oh, husband? Yeah. Yes. Like, like somebody, you, go ahead. Somebody okay. who works very closely beside you, maybe if you're in an office, or you guys are a partnership, maybe in a business. Yes. Okay. Really For me, it's my manager. Like, Adam could have a work wife. Oh, hell no. Exactly. I'm not here for it either. I'm not here for it either. Okay, then if you don't have a work husband, which I have a work husband, do you have a husband? What's a husband? Like a, a gay husband. Okay, that's fine. That's, oh. fine. that's fine. I'm here for oh. that. Yeah. yeah. Now, that's a term I ain't never heard. Okay, Gusband. every woman needs a husband, man. That's your girlfriend <laughs> and your gay best friend, and they are there for you thick and no. I like that. Yes. I like that. I'm no, they call that. It, that's they fun. call it a good Judy. That's what I thought they good called Judy. it. Good Judy. Good Judy. Yeah, yeah. good okay. Judy. You know, but no. Um, 
I think there are other titles. Yes. When you are uh, living, you could say significant other. Uh -huh. Some people don't like using partner if it's a male and a female because they tend to yeah. say that you know gays are partners. But you could say that's, that's my partner. I wonder what Goldie you know? Hawn and Kurt Russell call each other. My yeah. old lady. That's what you. Oh, my no, old lady. I would think that that's my woman. That's my man. I think that that is a significant title. That is my man. That is my woman. I just think no, no. I. Husband. I really enjoyed the stages of my relationship yeah. with my husband now. So when we were boyfriend and girlfriend, I loved calling him my boyfriend. Yeah. And then we, then when he was my fiance, I loved saying, "This is my fiance." Yeah. And now that he's my husband, I like saying, "This is my." But husband. see, that's I what love I'm saying. That. Yeah, it's, it's it is what it is. I feel like there's. There's work steps you take towards yeah. those titles. Yeah, but uh, what they're saying is, like, we've been together, like, okay, in that case, it was, that two, was months. two months. To me, that's just too soft. Yeah. But okay. there have been women that are like, we've been 10 years, you know, things yeah. like that. Got it. And they're saying, are I they just putting like, it out there in the I feel like the universe? Universe? Yeah. Yeah. I heard life partner, which I also think is a really like good partner. title. Oh, life, partner. Life, life partner. This is my life soulmate. Partner. Yes. This, is my, yeah. this is my heart. I like all that stuff. I just think, if it doesn't matter to you to be actually married, then why does it matter so much yeah. to have the title? Yeah. Maybe because yeah. they really want the title, but they yeah. can't get it. Yes. Boom! <laughs> ding, ding, ding! So, I mean, that's just the truth of the matter. That Sometimes is true. I think that's true. <laughs> so yes. maybe you need to have a talk with your, yes. your wannabe husband <laughs> and say... Yeah, if you want him to... Because I'm sorry, I'm not letting just anybody call me their wife if they yeah. haven't worked for that title or for Especially the privilege to call months. me their wife. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a that very is serious yeah, that title. Is, that is a serious title. You don't take that lightly. Okay, well, married or not, a topic most people are nervous to talk about with their partner is money, honey. <laughs> Come on, but one person that isn't afraid to tackle the subject is Shark Tank host Barbara Cochran. Now, Barbara was asked, what are the biggest mistakes women make with their money? Barbara replied saying, quote, they don't spend it. I am a believer in spending money as fast Ooh. as you can and believing that more money will come. So, wow. That's a money I mean, fast process that. Yeah. Barbara, who grew up poor, said her mother struggled to make ends meet. But she knew that everything would work out, and it always did. So, man, I... I, I like Barbara's statement up until the part when I'm taking words literally, but yeah. the part where she says, spend it, it as fast, fast as, as you, you can. can. Like, I don't, I, I do know people in my own family who hold on to that money and save it, and they don't, they, my mom still drives an old, old car. Um, I drove an old car until I didn't, you know, want to drive anymore, but um, I held on to everything just because I was afraid of losing money, because I think it's just something yeah. that happens when you grow up with not much. Right. But then I realized, what you gonna do when you die? You gonna take that money with you? Exactly. That's a good point. You know what I mean? It's a great and so point. I think it's important now to spend enough to at least live your life fully. And I mean, like, if you need therapy, get the therapy to live fully. If you need a nice, you know, vacation. prized vacation or a jacket or something that makes you feel like, I've never afforded something like this, treat yourself so you live fully. I think women make the mistake of not spending their money smartly. Yes. And a lot of women make the mistake of spending their money on a man. Ooh, yeah. they yeah. do? Yeah. Or things yeah. that they think will get yeah. them oh, a get man. Oh, get them a man. Yes. I think that yeah. is... That's intentionality, yeah. too. Don't yeah. spend things to get a man. Spend things to get yourself. And I'm not to saying... I have heard the... So, go ahead. I'm not saying don't spend money on if you, you know, you have a boyfriend or husband yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying just make sure that it's balanced. Yeah. I think sometimes and it's we tend to... Exactly. Wisely and make sure that it's balanced. Have you guys heard the term... Um, scared money don't make no money or yeah, something like that. Yeah. And it's actually saying, like, if you're scared, like, sometimes investing in yourself, yep. starting a business, like, sometimes that might take a big, large sum of money, but it might lead you into something that could be so much greater. I even feel that way about tithing in church or doing something for a nope. good cause. Sometimes you can say to yourself, okay, this is the last $5 I got, and you may see somebody in need. I say give that last $5, because I do believe God is going to give that back to you tenfold. I'm going to give 250 Huh? I'm going to give 250 yeah. I'm going to give the whole, whole five. five. I'm, but I'm telling you, I'm giving I believe it works. I'm no, giving it works. No, I, no, I tie. I've heard testimony I tie, of people who yeah. give, and they give without even thinking about it. They're like, I'm just going to give this. I may not even have it, but yeah. I'm going to give it, and God blesses them. Yes, I love 10%, your heart, though. Yeah, it is. Yes, I've thought about that. 10%? 
man, there are times when you think about that paycheck and you break down that 10% and you're like, man, can't this month just be an eight? <laughs> like you just really like, sometimes it's hard. I so it's, it always but I understand out. what you're saying. I I get it, but have you ever been in need yes. and you've done something yes. really good for someone I'm a true else? believer And the of next time. day I'll, I'll get a too. phone, I'll literally, even do something for a family member or someone, they'll say, hey, I need to borrow this money. And you'll be like, man, I don't really have it, but I'm gonna take this leap of faith and I'm gonna put that money uh, out there. I promise it to you, every time I've done it, no, I guys. get the phone call the next day of a job opportunity, another door opening for me. So I agree that sometimes I, you can't be scared. You put that money forward, God will bless you. Smart I, money make money. Yes. Not not just giving it all. I'm yeah, sorry, I give you, you half. I give you 10%. That's God high. gives you wisdom too, don't be dumb. <laughs> yes. yes. It's the intention of also, if you give money to friends or family, Consider it a gift. Think of it as a gift. Yes. When you start to lend friends or family money, right, and then you expect it to come back and things don't happen right and your spirit gets changed and yeah. all of a sudden you need to go to church but for prayer. But if you tell me it's a loan. Oh, I'm just, I'm yeah, just And then they have a new Louis alone. bag, but they didn't pay you the money back. Tam, True. how do you feel? Oh, about, well, when I think about spending your money wisely, honestly, okay, I'm going to be real. You see a lot of child actors mm -hmm. out there who start art. Who's, you see a lot of child actors out there who start out well. Yes. Right. And after a while, they just spend their money on, you know, ridiculous Drugs. things. Yes. Um, <laughs> my mom taught Tia and I the, import, the importance of investing. Yes. Investing your money. Yes. Make money off your money. Yes. And I think the... You know, yes, 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 it's that's true. great. And I think... We don't hear about that a lot. I think when people hear about investment, they think that you have to invest like a lot of money to get a lot back. No, you guys, just start small. Start with $5 yep. and you'll see, it'll grow to 10. Then that 10 will grow to 20. That's why Sister Sister is still doing okay. Hey, yeah. Here we go, still doing okay, because I invested. Yep. It's no surprise to anyone that learning a foreign language can be tough. You can practice grammar all day and drill vocabulary until it's perfect. But the moment it comes to actually speaking with someone, you freeze up, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Well, good news, everyone. A joint study conducted by British and Dutch researchers have found out that booze might just be the answer to that problem. <laughs> That's right. Even though alcohol has been shown to impair cognitive functions, a low dose, oh. a low dose of alcohol can actually improve self-confidence, and reduce social anxiety, Thanks. which researchers found can lead to better pronunciation. So ladies, mm -hmm. when you drink, do you ever speak another language? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I speak the language of love when I drink. Ooh! Jeannie have definitely had drinks to the point where Jeannie's like, I used to work at a Spanish jewelry <laughs> shop, and she's like, joyeria, tu quieres? And she'll suddenly start selling me. Tequilates. She'll literally start no. selling me jewelry in Spanish while she's having a drink. I'm like, what is happening right now? She's like, quieres una pulsera? Quieres una, like, un anillo? Yes! Un Guadalupe? <laughs> I love it, I love it. I love <laughs> seeing Spanish. And somehow it just starts have a lot flowing out her. Yes. But I will say this, Jeannie actually can speak Spanish very, you very really well. Wait, really? You, your yeah. accent is great, and when you got them drinks in you, a little tequila, oh, is you are so good. I am so good. Her Spanish is good. She's got great Spanish. Really? I'm I'm really, really good. I've heard it. I've got to get you drunk to hear it. No, I've never no. heard you speak Spanish. Por supuesto. Oh, I don't know what that means. Oh my like, gosh. No. I, I really love Spanish. I, I love, because I grew up in San Jose where there's a lot of Hispanics. And, yeah. and Adrian, you're my only friend now that speaks back to so me. So now we <laughs> to, we you. were supposed to practice more often, but that means we have to drink more often. Yay! I love it, I love it. No, but when we drink, I notice too, you and I get emotional with drinking. Oh my God. Right? We yes. get, I, everything just comes out, but the thing for me is when you say that there's a new language, I get emotional, but tell me the truth. When I've gotten those moments with you, yes. do I slur? when I get drunk? No. 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 But I might not be able to I notice because I might be slurring too. No, <laughs> I've been around so you, I'm not Jean, sure. you start feeling yourself. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. She Girl, you be like, yeah. oh, your tongue comes out your mouth. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Jeannie will be like. She do. She start feeling herself. That is Jeannie for sure. That's her. Hey,
Adrian. Hello. Okay. That's her. Jeannie may start feeling herself when she starts drinking. Yes. You start feeling other people when oh. you're drinking. <laughs> No. Yes. When Adrian is drunk, oh my God, I feel something behind me just like doing like this. I'm like, and I have to look down. I'm like, who is that? Oh my God, it's Adrian. She, you get so I frisky know. with me, I, Adrian. It's really just you. It might not be the liquor girl. Oh no. 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 I swear to God. I get like, she. Now, granted, I have to be comfortable with you. I'm not going to walk up to a stranger, but. Uh, a little the other thing comes no. out. No, she, she, she be telling does. me things. I'm like, oh my gosh, Adrian! Yes. And she doesn't get afraid. She no, just, she doesn't. Like, oh, I'll kiss you, no, I'll grab no. you, I'll everything. Yeah. No. Oh, it's so fun. I'm feeling the love. Lonnie, no, you, you want some love? No, how am I? You guys, how am I when I'm, when you I'm drunk? You laugh. Oh, giggly. Giggly okay. and, and then... Miss Penelope. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it Penelope? Because she goes, no, Lonnie, stop it. I'm like, oh. what? <laughs> Wait, no. I remember a time when I I don't know how that means vanilla people, but okay. Tam. What? Someone uh, was hitting on Tam and we were all drinking. Oh God. And we were at a hotel. Oh, oh yeah, I, yeah, I remember this. And yeah. Tam was running oh from this God. person oh like, please save me. No, I yeah. can't. They keep looking at me. She true one. She was like, that, no! Yes, no. the whole time, cracking up laughing, <laughs> and you could, you could not stop no, laughing. Yes. And we had, we really? put you in that room, and we were like, don't come out. <laughs> Ilda, come get you. Yeah. And you were like, I won't come out. I'm <laughs> staying here, I promise. But remember when we said we were going to take her to the club, and she, we got into the cab, and yes. she was like, we're not going to the club! I did? Yes, you got You guys, you I don't even remember this. She doesn't. You don't I must remember. Been really when drunk. you let yourself go, you have some fun. And you don't even take that much. You really are half glass. I know. You really are. Oh, well, we yes, had a well, break on a full good time. Yes, I love that. <laughs> Have you ever been so determined to go to the gym that when you realized all your gym clothes are dirty, <laughs> you find some old ones, take a whiff of them, decide that they don't smell bad, and you just wear them again? Anybody? Okay, well, according to an article in Men's Health Magazine, those clothes might smell fine, but be aware that even though those clothes may pass your sniff test, if you wear them again, you will only make them smell worse in the long run. So time to fess up here, because I think this is nasty. <laughs> Who here has reworn their workout clothes? All the time. Ew! You've never done that? You've done that. For it. sure I've okay. done that. Wait, what, after you've sweated in them? and Yes, you take girl, them it off? happens sometimes. It's, the show is called The Real. <laughs> At some point in my life, socks as well. <laughs> you know, I can't find no, uh, sometimes I can't find socks, well, and that was them, they were there, so I put them back on. Adrian, oh God. I don't be funky like that. I... Okay, have you ever spent I... the night somewhere and then <laughs> you didn't bring another pair of underwear? Yeah. Then you just flip it inside out and put it back on? <laughs> no, girl, I don't do that. I put the panties in my purse. But I'm very clean. And I just go... I swear. With I, no panties. Or, or, no, or wait. I'm very clean. Or no, I, got... I just put my panties in my purse and then I go <laughs> free ball. Oh, or, oh free ball. Uh... Have your panties. If Amanda. you didn't want to flip your panties inside out, or if you're in a real stretch and you already did that, have you ever taken the toilet paper and you just wrap it? Yes. Yeah, you make like a bootleg. Yeah. Pad. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. 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 We all do that. Don't no. fright. Oh my God, if we're going to keep it really real, since y'all are acting like everything is so nasty. You ever <laughs> in that time of the month and no one had uh -oh. anything and you have to make a makeshift one? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, we all yeah. do that. Oh, okay, I thought y'all were going to be like, no, who does that? <laughs> no. I'm going to see y'all think I'm going to go to the gym, okay? I need anything. If I don't have no clothes, I better find something or I'm not going. So I just put them on and that's it. Yes. I don't, you know, you're going to sweat anyway. I don't understand. No, I the can't end do that. The same. No. Gonna, the end result if is the same. If it doesn't smell... It's, I think it's I, okay to put it back on. That's what I'm saying, If, if it doesn't smell, no, and it, furthermore, if you let it air dry out yes. and it's like not sweaty, or and don't put like, don't put moist clothes on unless it's been Febreze. <laughs> moist. You could Febreze it too. <laughs> that's true. Spray a little Febreze, 
Let it air out, and you're good no. to go. Yeah. I mean, if you're in an emergency and you yes, need, nobody's you need saying clothes. do this as like a okay. yeah. routine. That, because Ooh. sometimes, like when when I travel, I don't have enough room, so yeah, I have to only need... take one pair of workout gear. Yeah. So you know, I just got click, 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 click <laughs> over there. You know. Yes. Okay. Mama Mai does that too. She only brings. Uh, it doesn't matter if we're on a five day trip or a three month trip. She <laughs> only packs three underwears. Oh. Three underwears. And you whole... looking at us crazy for wearing something <laughs> on repeat. Well, that's why I'm traumatized about it. She does one underwear that she's wearing right now, one that she saves for the next day, and then she... Oh, now that I count, she only does two. One that she's wearing now, and the next one, she clean when she needs the the, the new one, yeah. she washes in the, the old one in the bathroom while she's showering, <laughs> I uses it as I've a lupa. Okay, I, I know this is gonna sound something. crazy. And then hangs it and okay. wears the new one. I, I don't I've use my underwear as a loofah, but like culturally, I don't I I was raised, I never put my underwear in a hamper. Where you put it? So I, if I take my panties off, I wash it in the shower, and I hang it oh, to dry. Oh, you hang them I, up. And then once I hang it and it's dry, then I'll All put right. it in the hamper. I never leave dirty underwear so sitting in the hamper. I'm gonna need Mama Mai to come on the show, because you ain't gonna I talk can. about my yes. Mama Mai like yeah, that. It's I, real. I, You'll I hear it yourself. Which, oh my God, yeah. if Mama Mai came on the show, I will absolutely have her tell you this story. Okay. Because it's real and it's nasty. No, it's no. not. She's, she's washing not. it. She's washing yeah, she it washes it. She washes it yes, probably with the hotel Mama soap Mai, cleaning. you gotta come back on the show, okay? Because yes, you're gonna explain this. We love you, Mama Mai. We love you, Mama Mai. Why like shit? Wash your workout clothes by hand too, man. Some mornings it's hard getting out of bed and hitting the snooze button too many times can have you rushing to the shower, do your hair, and pick out your outfit, leaving you no time for your makeup. But we've got your back. Check it out. This is Three Minute Face. Shirt on time? This is great for on-the-go mom. Step one, opt out of applying heavy foundation that you have to be super precise with. Instead, go for a tinted moisturizer or BB cream. The coverage is light and they do a great job at evening out your complexion. They also protect your skin from the sun because many have built an SPF. Now, if you need a little more coverage, use concealer or heavy foundation only where you need it and blend it in with your fingers. Okay, step two. <laughs> it's time to add color. Now, in an instant, blush can give you a healthy glow. So to save time on your cheeks, Try a, clean, a cream blush, like this one right here, instead of a powder, you guys. See that? Yeah, we see. <laughs> now, now, powder can settle in one spot when applying, and it can be hard to blend, but cream blush is generally much easier to control, and you won't have to start over if you put too much on. Just use your fingers or a brush like this, you guys, to blend it in, blend everything out, and then you're ready for step three. <laughs> Pull your look together with a lip balm or a tint. Save time by sticking to clear or neutral shades that go on smooth. Ooh, do I fit in here? I, I do. <laughs> the easier they go on, the quicker you can get out the door. And reapplying will be a breeze when there is no mirror around. So stay away from dark colors and matte lippies because they already got to prep the lips with the liners and the brushes and the mirror. No one got time for that. You're welcome. <laughs> Step before you're ready for the day is. You look define, like you're in jail. Define <laughs> your eyes. The eyes are the windows to the soul, so you want them to stand out. If you don't have full brows already, lightly outline and fill them <laughs> in so your face is beautifully framed. Now, don't take more than 30 seconds on this, okay? Because it's going to waste your time. Throwing on a coat of mascara for the full three minute finale is totally going to wake up your eyes and make your eyes pop. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Now, we all have that friend who can be wishy-washy with advice, you know, the one who tries to feel you out to make sure they are saying what they think you want to hear. Mm -hmm. Well, fortunately, Adrian is not that type of friend, all right? <laughs> There's no spoonful of sugar with her. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's why it's time once again for Absolutely Adrian. Yay! Absolutely, absolutely not. Absolutely. Absolutely not. I, That's right. 
absolutely love this segment. Yeah, thank yeah. you. All right, we heard from Marisol, who watches us on Fox 5 in New York. Hey, Marisol. Hey, Marisol. Hey, Marisol. Hi, hi. Thank you for watching us, Marisol. Yes, thank you. we love Fox New York. Five. Thank okay. you. She says, hi, my name is Marisol. I'm 41 and I'm from New York. My fiance Adolfo and I got engaged last year in August. We are trying to plan our wedding for May 2019, but it's been beyond stressful and due to financial problems, we keep pushing our date back. Let's be realistic, we can't afford it and it, all it's doing is stressing us out. Mm. Our plan was to get married in the Dominican Republic where his 98 year old grandmother lives before she passes. Mm. I figured, why not get married on the beach in the DR with your family? So Adrian, your wedding was so beautiful so you know how stressful it can get. Do you think we should push it back again and deal with the stress even though we are scared his abuela, did I say that right? Yep. His abuela will pass. Yes. Okay. I say absolutely not. Do not push this back. I think that people get it confused that a marriage is about a wedding. Mm -hmm. Like that's not what marriage is about. It's not yeah. about, you know, creating this thing. Granted, if you can do it and it's not stressful, go for it, you know, make your dream wedding come true. But if you really love this man, you don't care what like mm. the big bells and whistles, you don't need all of that extra stuff. And the most important thing is to have what? Family and loved ones surrounding you to witness a beautiful day where you are committing yourself and your life to somebody else. And that's really what it's about. I also think that by the way, Dominican Republic is beautiful. <laughs> La República Dominicana, I love the Caribbean. Um, I think that it's actually, like she said, it can be super affordable to just do something simple on the beach. Your backdrop is your venue. The, yes, beach the beach is your venue and it's free. Your venue is free and you could do something really special there. And the most important thing is his abuela. You know, I think that's super important and I think you will have major regrets if God forbid she passes and she doesn't get to witness that moment. So my advice would be, Absolutely, go ahead and get married, do it. Uh, maybe you won't have the most grand wedding, but if your heart is in the right place, it will be an absolutely beautiful occasion. And more importantly, you guys, I think that if you have a dream wedding in your mind, you can do that for your fifth year anniversary, for yep. your 10th, and that gives you a lot of time to save up and have the wedding of your dreams, but tie your hearts together and let his grandmother be there to experience that. I love that. Great yeah. advice, right? Great, yeah. great answer. Right what would you do? Exactly what you said. Yeah, you yeah just have a low-key low key wedding. Yeah. You know? I've been to some really low-key weddings that honestly, end up being way more beautiful than the ones that exactly. people spent a lot of yes. money on. And, and that, that you feel when those two hearts are connecting, just yeah. how beautiful that moment is, that, that's priceless. And yeah. she's 98, so yes. you need to go ahead and get it done. Yeah, go right. for it. Get it done. Yeah. What can make this already great day even better? Well, for me, always fashion, but how about taking home a designer bag? Yeah! Because... Oh! One lucky audience member could be walking out here with a hot piece of arm candy if she can toss it like a boss. It's time to play the good, the bad, and the whoopsie! <laughs> All right, now, whoever is ready to play is ready to win a bomb bag today. How many people want to play? Okay. My sister, Montclair, California. Where is Sharia John? Okay, Sharia, you're beautiful. Thank you. So oh my gosh, you. I was just in Montclair this weekend, by the way. Mm -hmm. So. How would it feel, since you're so fashionable, yes. you're so chic, how would it feel to win a designer bag? Oh, um, be really excited, be my first designer bag, so oh, I'm, I'm ready for this. Yay. I'm ready. That would be awesome. Okay, no, I know how that feels. Yes. Okay, so your designer bag version. Oh, breathe it in, because this might be your last day, girl. We're about to pop your cherry. All right. Now, you know the drill. 
You'll get three chances to toss a ball into one of the bags there on our exquisite turntable of bags. Thank you, Lonnie. Now, where it lands determines exactly what you'll win. So, let's find out exactly what it'll be, okay? Ladies. All right, well, there's the good. Ooh. If your ball lands in any bags with the price tags, that amount of cash is yours. Yes! Yeah. The bag. Okay. That's right. This Furla Milano medium tote, spotlighted here, Damn. is perfect for spring and is worth, get this, $478. Oh. Now, if you land it in there, you're taking her home. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. But girl, there's the whoopsie. Oh, God. oh gosh. <laughs> Stay away from that bag. It's that burlap, whatever that thing burlap. is. Burlap. 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 burlap okay, money. because if a ball goes in there, the game <laughs> is over. You get no money, no bag, but you will get a priceless t shirt from the real. Show them, Jenna. Jenna. <laughs> there it is. Okay, Shuya, you ready, right? T shirt. Okay. Okay, get your stretching going on. There we go. There we you go. Got this. Okay. Right. Now stay behind this line. Okay. You only get three chances. Okay. Take your time. Aim well. We don't want you landing in the whoopsie bag, or as Lonnie calls it, the burlap. Okay. <laughs> now you ready to do this? I'm ready. Okay. I'm here is ready. ball number one. Audience, I need some cheering on. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Go for the designer bag. We want you to match that bag with your outfit. Let's do it! Yeah. Oh! Okay. That was so close. Almost. 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 Okay, okay. Focus. One more. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Yes. I need you to concentrate, okay? Okay. You, gotta run. you ain't got to rush. Concentrate. Yeah. Holy Spirit. Don't rush. Everything. Go with her. Be with okay. her. Okay? Be with her. Yes. Here we go. Yes. Okay. Don't okay. let you focus. Okay. Okay. Take your time. Think about it. Now, wait, listen, wait for it to listen, come around. Listen. Okay. Concentrate. Go. Okay. Wait. Take your time. Wait for it. Wait, wait for it. You got time. Whatever you're feeling. Yes. Shoot. We, we have enough time. time. You're on we TV. have enough time. It's coming. Here we go. Okay. And just follow go. through. Here we go. Follow it's through. It's coming. your height, okay? Wait think, for it. Wait for it. And, and wait no, for it. You can, no, you no, can under? overshoot, yes. so okay. go under, but you go almost light. did it. Yeah. You were overshooting. Come on, you got this. Come on, girl. Wait until it comes around. Take yeah. your time. Take your Here time. Here you go. 